Hey gentlemen, welcome to part 23 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the Battle of Changban again. Only this time, we got Shu aligned with us. And we're not running from South Cao. We're trying to make a counterattack so that way we can slow down and eventually beat South Cao. This is the DLC that was lumped in with the previous DLC in the last episode, and I think two from Wei, two from Wu, two from Jin. Lu Bu does not have any DLC. Let me reiterate that. He doesn't have any DLC, but the DLC packs are split up in two portions. Like there's um, two DLCs for each kingdom per DLC. So there's practically six DLC sets that's out in the ether for the PS4, the PS3, and the Steam version. And we don't have to worry about that with the Switch. But for, um, wait, they don't have the Xbox version. No, no, they don't. The Xbox version can get some of those DLCs, but that's as far as it goes. Anyway, we're going to be playing as Guan Ping. And, of course, Guan Ping's Horse Cleaver did get a bit of an improvement. Son of the God of sort of. Instead of just getting a buff whenever he activates his EX skills, instead it's more exhausted. like a forward push. Hold on for much or should longer. I say a forward projectile re resonating from the sword. Hmm. Which will mow down enemies in front of him. We need to capture that thing. Now then, um, the whole point of this is for us Master to Shushu. capture all the bases in order for us Come to on, ambush ready. So Let's when the ambush is on. ready, we're going to weaken some of these officers, and more importantly, we are going to have to take the fight to South Zhao once we do. Now, as I said before, Guan Jing, no, Guan Ping, sorry, plays pretty much the same as he does in Dynasty Warriors 7. The only difference is in Dynasty Warriors 8, he does have to change his EX moves. He doesn't, however, pull out his father's spear. He just has to change the EX moves. The EX move, by the way, happens to be the point where the, uh, it appears that we have captured the base. Wave of uh, wind energy happens to appear, and the other one is where uh, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, the other one is where he actually uh, knocks you up into the air. That's another one. Other than that, he doesn't give himself bumps like he used to back in Dynasty Warriors Seven. Instead, his uh, weapon would practically try to kind of make the battle a little bit more easier death? on yourself. Well, it's not going to do them much good. That's it. I must return while and I it's a high-power weapon. Only reason why it's doing so much is father. because of the fact of how, how uh, high-powered that weapon is. And by the way, that is a level 4 in my possession, not a level 5. So yeah. We're just gonna have it to get like rid to of now. like uh, this is a generic officer Yu really Ying and also uh Li Dian. I mean UA uh, much longer. No, I meant it's UA Jing, sorry, not UA Ying. God damn it, why did I make that mistake? Anyway, Come and on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> we're gonna have to started. make sure that those bases you are as good as captured. At the right time. And by the way, you, you might want to help out your back. friends because Liu Bei, Xiao Yu, Shang Bei, Zhu Xu, they cannot fall in battle. None of them. And there'll be times when they'll be swamped with enemies. So you're gonna have to come in, garrison. suck it up, and smack them Proceed around. Our That's the only way to, to save them. Because the unfortunately, um, trying to do the uh, perfect timing. 
unsubtle approach as in actually uh, catching them by surprise by jumping them off, jumping off the cliff via horseback is somehow not working. That is rather weird. Also, with his Claymore, um, this is the sole possession of Guan Ping because as of this game, um, Xiao Ba no longer holds a horse lever himself. He instead holds a uh, siege weapon. I brought up Xiao Ba because he used to be the weapon clone for Guan Ping. This should enable my Anyway, I'll be right back. I gotta go take my ass. Alright, I'm ambush. back. I had to take my inhaler out of the draw because I was having a little problem breathing. But anyway. It would be best to try to make sure that not only all the people you did not choose survive, but also to make sure that some of your officers actually survive. And there's a good reason why. Um, you're going to need them. After all, for the ambush plot, they all need to live. And... By the way, this is the part I was about to mention. In order for you to get the ambush plot, you're going to have to uh, lure every single officer. No, you got to walk up to the officer and let them go to the center. Do not attack them. The three officers in question is Zhu Xu, Zhang He, and Xiao Yuan. Do not attack them. Every other officer under them, maybe, but not those three let them go to the center and whatever you do stay away from GSU because if you don't well GSU will start getting suspicious you get too close to GSU well the plan will fail and they'll have to go on an all out attack uh oh the battle lines are being extended well, there you go. Don't go near GSU. That's pretty much what happened. If they notice our ambush troops, then the plan is a So, stay away from GSU and instead go straight and just walk up to the officer. Don't fight them. Just walk up to them. They'll all go to the center, no problem. This is practically an easier DLC as opposed to the DLC that we're going to be dealing with next in the next episode and quite honestly too, the only reason why I am laying waste to some of these enemies is because of the fact that Guan uh, Ping has a level 5 weapon I think a level 4 or level 5 no no he has a level 4 weapon yes the red's level 4 if I'm not mistaken so yeah he's pretty much doing some serious damage so if there's anything else I need to mention, yes, there is. There is. Um, when you go up to some of these officers, um, sometimes, sometimes you can run, they will you can try fight. to attack you matter. if you are now in the way. Again, don't attack them. So instead, just let them go to the center. All you gotta do is just walk up to them and then run away. Don't stay and fight them. Let them go to the center and let them do whatever they need to do. And then once all three are in the center, by the way, you just have to wait for all three to be in the center. Do not attack Xiao Yuan, Zhang He, and uh, Su Chu until both parties have all, or all three parties have made it to the center. Once they made it to the center, then they're Are fair you game. To hand? You have my thanks. Now let's push the enemy back and, um, Once you basically uh, get rid of all of the officers that are there, then Cao Cao will open up all the gates. Yes. Our attempt to lure in the enemy was a success. Well, here they are. So now let's take care of all these guys. His plan to surround them with ambush troops is quite impressive. So the ambush troops will appear all in their uh they will appear all from their designated areas. 
and Jia Xu will be heavily demoralized. In fact, the demoralizing will be so bad that it will drop down to half having it on our side. So, with that said, this isn't some impressive strategy. Well, uh, Wu and Wei will end up doing the same thing, luring Shu forces to their doom. So it's not really much of an impressive strategy. <clears throat> so now, all you're practically doing is fending off against whatever is left of the onslaught from uh, Wei. Because again, Wu will take part in this. However, they will end up fighting against us in the next part. So all you're practically doing now is going to South South. You can just take care of any officers on the way, but I'd recommend you try to B-tail it. B-line, not B-tail. Why did I say B-tail? I mean, B-line it for South South because the uh, people who you're not supposed to let die are going to run straight to South South. And South South, while he may have lost some morale, will still be highly inspired. So that's the last thing you want to happen. There again, there is no star requirement, but at least you can try to take out the morale, so that way South Sal won't have too much of a bonus when you fight him. And yeah, wrong-sounding Shang Liao is still a terrible thing, but but it's better than the Vox voice actors. That's the only thing I gotta say. You are a fool to come out here alone. You shall fall prey to my Yeah, tactics. practically clearing the way for all of these guys. <clears throat> um You you're just pretty much waiting for uh all of your troops to go straight to South South so you can just end this. You don't even need to leave. You don't even need to hunt down anybody else. You just simply make sure that your troops, the um, people who are supposed to live, you make sure they survive. You're good to go. Let's see. So you uh, would face me in battle, you? Very Of course, well. got to take him out, unfortunately. He is one of my favorite characters of Way, but I just can't have him standing in my way. You know what I'm saying? Now, last but not least, we gotta face off against uh, Sai Mao and also Sao Tsao, both of which are in the hideout. Oh, and one other person. I think that's... Oh, excuse me, we got the hiccups. If it's a fight you want, oh yeah, Sao Ren. Forgot about right him. You How can I forget about Sao job. Ren? But... Yeah, Sal Rin was Impressive. the only other person left. Just how is it that you managed to become so, so now powerful. we can just barge in, say hello to Sao Tsao, beat him up, and end this mission right here. And by the way, there is no cutscene for some of these DLC missions. Just maybe two missions. I think only two missions have them. One of which involves you getting back red hair that was stolen from Lu Lin Chi. Oh, stolen by Lu Lin Chi from Guan Yu, or should I say Guan Jing Bi. And that's the end of Cao Cao right there. Folks, we're starting to get to the beginning of the end of the Shu playthrough. We still maybe got, uh, I'd say six more episodes to go, but in the next episode, we're going to have to run away from the entirety of the Shu, not Shu, but rather Wu forces. Because the Wu forces is plotting to kill us due to the fact that they do not want to see Sun Sheng Sheng leave the building. Even though she's going to do so, well this version of Sun Sheng Sheng is going to do so whether they want to or not. So anyway, this is Arthur Man 95 I'll see you all next time.